we can't cook. Better get you some. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Welcome back. Welcome to my salmon patties stuffed with camembert cheese. Oh, ho, ho. these are absolutely fantastic. All right, best time to make them is the day before or in the morning for that night. You need a good six hours in the fridge for them to set properly. All right, so first thing we need is three large spuds. So I've only got medium, so I've got to put them all together and try to work out what I think is three large spuds. We've got to peel them and chop them. Chuck them in some water, boil it up. When the fork goes through and they're soft, take them off. Uh, tip them all out into a strainer and drain them off really well. Once they're drained and they've completely gone cold, make sure the water's out of your saucepan. Put it back in there. Then you want to just dry mash them. Once you've mashed them, grab some black peppercorns and just like that and set it aside. Now I'll write the recipe below for you guys in the description to make it easier. So the next thing we need is we need two teaspoons of lemon rind, which is the lemon skin. So just get yourself a little grater and you just want to grate just the yellow and we want two teaspoons. Once we've got the two teaspoons, throw it in on top of our potato mix. Next thing we need is quarter of a cup of lemon juice. So squeeze a lemon, hopefully this will be enough. They're so dear at the moment and mine aren't ready off my tree. So that was one big lemon, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, got plenty. Awesome. Throw that into our potato mix. Now we need one tablespoon of fresh parsley chopped up, and then throw that in with your spuds. Now we need one small onion, chopped really small, but I've only got like a medium one, so I'll just use three quarters of it. Chop it really small and chuck it in with your spuds. Now we want to grab one tablespoon of white vinegar and put that in there. We want to get a 415 gram can, roughly around there, of um, pink salmon. I want to cut the top off, push the top in, squeeze all the juice out, as much juice as you can out of it. You just want to get it and you want to mash it really hard as you're dropping it out of there. And break it up as much as possible. And then last of all, you just want to get one egg into a small bowl. Just give it a quick whip up with an, a fork. Chuck it into your mix. Now with a spoon, we just want to mix it all together really, really well. Oh, my arm, that takes a red hot minute. All right, once you've mixed it in really well, you have to absolutely do that. You want to flatten it all out, all right, until we get it nice and even and flat. Like that, nice and flat. Cover it up, chuck it in the fridge. The next thing we need to do is we need to get our creamy camembert cheese. So I love using this one. It's called the Australian Gold one. And um, basically, if you go into your supermarket and you just go into where your cheeses are in the fridge, you'll find it in there. It's not in with all the fancy ones in the deli section. Um, really easy to find. Now, I like using this one because it's $4.50 and it's really good. You can get them up to like $50, it's nuts. I tried a $50 one once, a friend bought it for me to try, and um, the only difference was it melted like full on, it was really melty, but to taste them for $50, huh, I'd rather get 45 bucks worth of more food. All right, open it up. Now we want to take the first layer of plastic off, but don't do what I did the very first time I used this, I'll show you. So once I took this off, <laughs> I tried taking the next coat off. I didn't realise it's wax stuff that you're supposed to eat. So yeah, don't even bother trying to peel it off, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Or maybe that's just me. All right, so there's got lines in them. So I'll just cut it in the middle once. So you're supposed to make 16 of them. All right, the next thing we do is we get a bowl of breadcrumbs. Now I'm just using my homemade ones that I make up. So if you haven't got any from the shops and you can't get to the shops, if you go to my deep fried calamari video, at the beginning I'll show you how to make homemade breadcrumbs. All right, so get a bowl of them ready. Get a bowl with a little bit of flour in it ready. Get another bowl and you want to whisk two eggs in there with a fork. Now just put a dash of milk in there, like that much, just so it goes further and whisk that into it. 
I'll grab the mix out and I'll try <laughs> and cut it up into even amounts. Alright, the first one's always a pain in the ass to get out. Okay, once you get your first one out, roll it into a ball. Or squash it into a ball, however. Alright, I'll just move this out of the way just to show you for the first one. Alright, so, make sure you're in the view. So I'll just press a hole in it, stick a piece of cheese in, and just push and wrap, push and wrap kind of thing to get it all over it. Once you've got it all over it, roll it. Like that. Alright, in the flour. Quickly in the egg, flick it around. Drip it a bit straight into the crumbs and repeat and do them all the same check these little pearlers out mate <laughs> i'll tell you what if you don't make these you're going to be missing out on something absolutely awesome all right so now that they're done we just want to glad wrap them really well and chuck them in the fridge to set so you just heat up your pan on medium now i'm using olive oil but you can use any oil you want and you basically want to just line the bottom of the pan put them on now what i normally do is i'll normally give them so they're cooked okay they're already cooked so what we want to do is we want to make them nice and crispy on the outside and at the same time we want to make sure we heat them through properly to melt that cheese so I'll cook them say five minutes on each side and then once they're nice and crispy I'll turn it down a little bit and cook them for at least another five minutes on both sides and then they're nice and hot in the middle so I'll just cut up a small one because the bigger ones aren't ready yet Just to show you. <laughs> oh, they are so good. Okay, so you can, I normally do them with a salad. I've got a basic salad tonight, so that's going to have to do. But yeah, you can do them with really fancy salads. Um, if you've got a few mouths to feed, you can do some hot chips as well, or wedges, really nice with it too. Oh yeah, baby. Well, there you have it, my friends. Salmon patties. What an awesome summer dish. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome night. I'm going to go and stuff my face. <laughs> See you later. Bye.